you know, they, they say that uh, time flies. It really does. Seems like just yesterday we were doing our team building. I just, uh, I couldn't be more proud of Lauren and more thankful for Ryan. And uh, Ryan, I just want to say welcome to the family. We love you. Ryan loves life, has from the very beginning. I first met Ryan, I believe it was their freshman year. They came with the girls to be a part of a ping pong tournament. Ryan walked in the door and Ryan was very, very quiet. He's quiet and our family isn't. And whenever Ryan and Lauren would uh, be around each other. They were both very, very quiet. We didn't say nothing, we knew what. I had gone to a cross country meet and uh, saw him there and thought he was a great kid. Still do. Ryan was a, a gentleman from the beginning. He worries more about everybody else having what they need than himself. I always told my wife and the girls, you always look for someone who loves Jesus more than you. And that is Ryan. Well, as a kid, Lauren was always kind of accident prone, but she survived, which is great. I love her to death. So we first met Lauren, I think it was during the nationals of uh, their cross country meet. Ryan introduced us to her. I could tell that there was something more in Ryan's eyes at that point even. She seemed mannerly, very polite. We always joked about when anybody enters the family, we're really gonna grill them. So that when Lauren came, we threatened Ryan that we were really gonna give her the, the nth degree worth of introduction and she fit right in. And the one thing about Lauren, if you give it to her, uh, she takes it and she can give it right back. She's awesome. I met all three girls about seven years ago and they've taught me so much and Lauren, Compassion, integrity, a love for God that I've never known anybody to have besides my wife, and it's been inspiring. She is probably the child that's most like me. She loves to read, she loves to cook. She unfortunately has some of her moms always having to talk with her hands. I admire her greatly.
You both express your willingness to enter this marriage and to fear the Lord. And as you stand here together, nothing is easier than saying words. Nothing is harder than living them each and every day. So let me encourage you to listen closely, to consider carefully what you will be promising to one another and to the Lord. Ryan, would you face Lauren? Lauren, would you face Ryan? And Ryan, would you repeat your vows to Lauren, please? Lauren, I am so thankful that God has blessed me with such an amazing best friend as you. I promise to love and cherish you forever and always. I promise to protect you and provide for you through times of plenty or times of little. I will be the one you can laugh with in the happy times and the funny moments and the one you can cry with during the difficult times of life. I will seek to be the best leader I can be for you as we navigate the things that God has laid out for us in our future. I also strive to be the best father I can be should the Lord bless us with any children. I will forever and always be yours and yours alone. <laughs> Ryan, one of the first things that drew me to you was your genuineness. Out of all the people at college, you were one of the only ones to never put on a face or pretend to be anybody else. It was you I fell in love with, and as you change over time, I promise to continue to love, choose to love you. I pledge before God to be faithful to you and to reverence you, to speak good of you before others, to pray for you every day, and to be your greatest support and encouragement through life. I will do you good and not evil all the days of my life. I promise to be your best friend, your lover, and a hope meet for you as long as God gives me Would you please repeat after me? I, Ryan, take you, Lauren. I, Ryan, take you, Lauren. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For rich or for poorer. For rich or for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do we part. Till death do we part. Lauren, would you repeat after me as you pledge to Ryan? I, Lauren, take you, Ryan. Lauren, take you, Ryan. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poorer. For richer or for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. I was excited when Ryan and Lauren asked me to give them a charge. I have much respect for this couple. One of the great memories we have of them is one time my kids came home and said, hey, Ryan and Lauren want to take us roller skating. I said, what? <laughs> <laughs> Who wants to take a couple of kids roller skating <laughs> as a college couple on a date? But they did, and that was a great testimony to us, and it kind of shows their heart. They are both dedicated to the Lord and want to serve him. Years ago when I was teaching a young couple's married class, I came across this quote, we learn to love not by finding a perfect person, but by learning to see an imperfect person perfectly. Hmm. You can go back and listen to this later. You won't remember it. <laughs> In closing, I have 17 rules for you. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> I, you know, I've got it written down for you. <laughs> rules for a happy marriage. Laugh together. Be the first to say, I'm sorry. Say, I love you. Forgive. Don't bring up the past. Communicate and trust. Hug. Hold hands. Kiss. Be in the moment. Remember why you fell in love. Compliment each other. Listen. That's in all caps. <laughs> encourage each other, and show gratitude. Like I say, I've got it written down for you.
Bless you, Ryan and Lauren. Thank you for your tremendous testimony to us. And we will be praying for you as life goes on. Ryan, do you take Lauren to be your lawfully wedded wife? I do. <laughs> you got caught up on that kiss thing. <laughs> Ryan, do you promise to love, lead, respect, and protect her throughout your marriage? I do. Ryan, do you promise to forsake all others and be committed to for as long as you both shall live? I do. Lauren, do you take Ryan? to be your lawfully wedded husband? I do. Do you promise to love, obey, respect, reverence, and support him throughout your marriage? I do. Do you promise to forsake all others and be committed to him as long as you both shall live? I do. Let me direct your attention to these rings. The wedding ring is a symbol of covenant love. The unending circle serves as a daily reminder that there's no separation in your love for each other. Daily, they will remind you of the endless relationship that you have entered and of the promising of your unending love and devotion to each other. Now, I do not nor cannot bless these rings for you, but they will be blessed to you as you consider their significance each and every day. Ryan, as you take this ring and place it on Lauren's finger, would you please repeat after me? This ring I give to you this ring I give to you as a token of my love as a token of my love and my devotion to you and my devotion to you I pledge to you all that I am I pledge to you all that I am and all that I will ever be and all that I will ever be as your husband as your husband with this ring I gladly marry you with this ring I gladly marry you and join my life to yours and join my life to yours Lauren, as you take this ring and place it on Ryan's finger, would you please repeat after me? This ring I give to you. This ring I give to you. As a token of my love. As a token of my love. And my devotion to you. And my devotion to you. I pledge to you all that I am. I pledge to you all that I am. And all that I will ever be. And all that I will ever be. As your wife. As your wife. With this ring I gladly marry you. And join my life to yours. Ryan and Lauren, because you have pledged your faith and love to each other, because you have sealed your covenant of love by the giving and receiving of rings, acting under the authority vested in me as a pastor, in the presence of Almighty God and these assembled witnesses, I now pronounce you husband and wife. And what God has joined together, let no man put asunder. Ryan, you may kiss your wife. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have a to Mr. and Mrs. Ryan here. Here we stand, the world away. Let the stars tonight light the way. your constant love that gives me strength Under the starlight we'll find our way I know This is the start of something beautiful With you by my side there's no In everyone's lifetime, they meet that one person who will be their best friend, the love of their life, their soulmate. For Ryan, that happened just four years ago when he met me. <laughs> All night, I could not sleep. 
Wondering who she was and what I said You know, I think about how their relationship has grown. There was a bit of room between them in their first picture, and obviously today there's a little less room. I'm gonna cry, I know it, just, I'm warning, all right. Brian, when you first started dating, I wanted to make sure you understood just how amazing this woman is, and so I told you that you weren't good enough for my sister. I was wrong, Lauren. I have a strange feeling with regard to you, as if I had a string somewhere under my left ribs, tightly knotted to a similar string in you. And if you were to leave, I'm afraid that cord of communion would snap. But it's not going to snap. It's just changing. Ryan, take care of my baby sister. We've had a lot of laughs through the years and some tears. I'm so proud of you and the woman you have become. Your compassion for other people has inspired me. Thank you and I love you so much. Ryan, you look so beautiful. Oh. Uh, I lost my place, sorry. We first met when you came to our home for the ping pong tournament and then you just kept coming back. But Ryan and Lauren, I think, have really shown me a lot of what it means to be committed. You know, most people just just changed their last name, but now she's Mrs. Ryan Gick. Like, she changed both names. <laughs> as long as I have known these two, it has been true of them that they want to serve God first and foremost. So my challenge to you two, never stop pursuing God above all. I'd just like to give a few tidbits of advice. I don't have much more to go here. Remember the most dangerous word in the English language is tomorrow. Never put off tomorrow what you can do today for each other. And never, ever, ever forget why you fell in love in the first place. with a question. What's the most loving thing I say to you when you guys leave the house? <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Gick, kick rocks. <laughs> <laughs>